Virtual to Groomer. My name is Jackie Host, and today I'm bringing another shaving video. And my choice of soap today is going to be Seville. But the special thing about this, I mean, Seville is special, but the real special thing about this is this is going to be in the, can you see that? In the Omnibus soap base. Um, firstly, I'd like to caveat, I've got a bit of a cold, so if my voice seems off, that that is why. Uh, yeah, so Omnibus. Used it a few times now, I'm really enjoying it. I'll talk you through some of its nuances, how it's different to previous bases. Um, firstly, I'd like to say that uh, this is probably softer than any base I've tried. I've loaded off the top, so it's slightly wet. Um, any base I've tried relative to Barrister and Man. So Barrister, I found Barrister and Man bases tend to be slightly on the firmer side. I think this is kind of getting a bit softer. Some people like that, some people wouldn't care for it. I'm kind of indifferent, like it doesn't really bother me too much. Um, big thing for this, for anyone that doesn't know Seville, we'll touch on that very quickly. Um, Seville is a barbershop scent, a European style barbershop scent with an em emphasis on citrus. So I think the, the citrus notes on this are, are probably the most prominent thing about the scent. Then you would expect everything is a barbershop, you know, you've got your oak moss, you've got stuff like that. Freshening it up, definitely barbershop-esque. For anyone that, that doesn't know a barbershop, um, God, uh, think of think of barbershops and shaving. You've got um, The Wanderer by uh, Zingari Man. You've got uh, Barba by Noble Otter. Um, Cad as well, I believe it's a barbershop by PAA. There's quite a lot. Um, Barbie S. Sophisticato by a, a Barbershops are a uh, pretty common scent profile in shaving. So yeah, I hope you guys uh, are okay. Um, <clears throat> Let's get to the actual shave then. Um, but before I do, I'm, I'll show you what I'm using today as far as like hardware goes. Um, this is my voiding cup. This is the silver tip. Uh, the big difference between the silver tip and the, uh, the two band, I found that has a little bit more scrub. So uh, if I have a like an, an extra day of growth or something, it's kind of ideal. Um, and that's been loaded already with the soap. And uh, my Razor of choice today is new. I've not used this step yet. This is a Philharmonica and this is a Trudeur. This is 15 sixteenths. Absolutely stunning. Take a look at that. I don't know where I could see the blade there, but man, really happy with this. You could see the, uh, I kind of like the plating on the spine there. Very cool looking. So that's going to be our razor today. Um, let me get the face wet and we'll get to lathering up. So, my experience with Omnibus is, I mean, overall, I've been, I've been just impressed. It's, it's very good. You would kind of expect that given the amount of ingredients. And I will always put the ingredients in the description. There are so many ingredients. It's like a lot of ingredients. More so than you typically see. Than like on most shaving soaps. Is that a bad thing? I mean, I guess that's for you to decide. For me, I don't really care. Um, he's obviously thought he needs those ingredients. So overall, I'm not, I'm not too concerned, quite frankly. Let me fill this in. Got to do that just now. Sorry, JR. So yeah, like if you if you care about that, this has a ton of ingredients, and that is kind of what it is, in my opinion. Um, how does it differ to previous Barrister and Man bases? So I don't see the biggest uptick in performance over Excelsior, quite honestly. Um, there's an uptick, and I think there's a the biggest uptake, uh, uptick for me, really, when it comes to performance of this, is the post. I actually didn't think Excelsior's post, like without using a post shave product, was particularly great. Like it worked, like it left your skin feeling okay. But compared to a lot of modern soaps, not really. This, for me, is a vast improvement on that in terms of post. It's a very nourishing. However, I've heard from a couple of people that it leaves their skin pretty dry. So I think, I think that's kind of like a different case by case basis, if you know what I mean. But like, I think another really big improvement over Excelsior, 
and I'll be honest, I didn't really uh, experience a difficulty to lather personally with Excelsior, but this for me is very easy to lather. I mean, you can see like it's coming together really well. So I'm pretty happy with the density here because I'm going to be using a straight, it's still pretty dry, so we're just going to paint some water in here. So let's do the lines, neck. Get that there. So you can see it's come together pretty quick, which is obvious for me, it is a plus side of the soap. Like, I think lathability is something that isn't always spoken about nowadays. I think things need to be easier to lather. With all these ingredients, you'd hope that, you know, it wouldn't make the soaps harder to lather. And quite frankly, in this case, I don't think it does. So I think that's definitely a plus to the soap. Let's get to paint in here then, shall we? You can see, yeah, it's come together very quick. Um, really nice density to it as well. Uh, to be honest though, again, I never really noticed a lack of density with Excelsior. In fact, I thought the, the uh, density for Excelsior was very good. So I really don't have a problem in that regard, but you could see that it leaves a really beautiful sheen. Um, I could still add more water to this and I'm gonna because I loaded pretty heavy, not, not too heavy. Oh, on an unrelated topic, uh, you may have saw an annotation at the start of the video for Buy Me A Coffee. Uh, let me explain what that is. So Buy Me A Coffee is basically an alternative to Patreon. The reason I went with that versus Patreon, because I didn't want you guys to feel like you had to make uh, monthly contributions to me. Uh, I want you to do exactly what that says and buy me a coffee. You don't need to give me monthly monthly contributions. I understand why some creators do that and that's perfectly fine. But for me, I'd rather you just say, hey, you know, I feel like supporting Jack, buy, buy yourself a coffee, you know? Doesn't really go too much beyond that for me. Um, I get paid an ad revenue for these videos, being completely transparent with you, so I make money off of these videos anyway. But if you guys feel like supporting in another way, that's the way to do it. If you don't, then perfectly fine. You know? Yeah, you can see this is really coming together. The density is actually pretty crazy. Um, I could feel like the slight resistance when pressing the brush to my skin. The soap is like, no. You can see there, like really nice density. We're gonna keep working it though because I have a really good experience with this base and taking water. Lather's raining on me. I'm gonna keep going here. Not too much longer, I think we're in a pretty good place, but we can always add more water. Yeah, overall, uh, it is an improvement. It's not like a drastic, drastic improvement, but I think he's addressed the issues people would have had with Excelsior, so I think that's definitely a good thing. Um, I would say actually there has been a price increase. Uh, Cup of Seville and Excelsior, I believe, was fifteen dollars, which is ridiculous value. Um, this is still under twenty, by the way. So there is that. But what I would also say is, alongside Seville, he released Le Grand Chipre, which is which in the Excelsior was twenty three nine nine or something like that, and it's now also twenty. So maybe he's just decided to like standardized pricing which is which is okay you know beautiful i think we're good here guys look at that really beautiful and dense draw lines a bit further here take it up from there Very nice. If you hear like splashing, I'm <laughs> kind of like uh, rinsing my hands after I've kind of put on here. I think we're okay. Very, very nice. 
So you can see, let me pick up the flow through here. So what I like to do is I like to bring the flow through to the top of the brush for some reason. And you can see all that really nice lather there. Big fan of the soap, it's very good. Um, again, as you would expect now from modern soap. But I will always be the one to say that I think pretty much anything at this point can get the job done for you. If you're one of those people that don't spend a lot of money on soap, you don't really, really don't have to. Um, Sterling is pretty much just about as good as anything, and that's going to give you a remarkable shave pretty much every time, you know. <clears throat> cool, so let's get the uh, fully out and uh, get to our first pass here. First shave of this, I, d I don't know what the edge is like on this, so we'll see. Fine. There's just something about the uh, the way these razors take an edge. I had a, a double temple before, a uh, Fellow Monica 14, and the edge was sublime. And that sound never gets old either. A good old full hollow sound. <laughs> so it's just good. Soap is slick as hell. Really nice density I can feel on the face. A switch, actually we could uh goes a little bit this way here as well, so tack that and now we can switch. can see how like nice the like it's just and I, I found this with Excelsior as well like that the density was really impressive to me so same goes for this it's still very dense I'd probably say there's a slight improvement on density. Mm. Think we're good here for the most part. Let's dry off the blade here. And then we'll uh, wash off the face and lather up for our second pass. I like the edge, it's not my favourite edge, I have to say, um, really I had before, had an edge that was like a laser, it was so just well balanced, like a really great balance between both smoothness and sharpness, but that edge, definitely good enough to get the, get the job done and, and, and some, um, it's just, like I said, there's just something about that still. Some lather up again, shall we? Let's clean the rig. Let's clean the brush. Bit first. We've got lather everywhere. You know, I'm even gonna sprinkle some more water on the top of this because it can take it. Believe you me. Yeah, okay. Really nice. 
the overall performance of of Omnibus is excellent. I actually got to test this out base kind of as he was making it. This is a pretty long project for him. I think it took well over a year. Um, so he was really refining it, trying to get it to where he wanted it to be. And with a success, I think this is brilliant. And I'm, I'm not the sort of guy that will complain about price, but like 20 bucks for a soap is good. It's just a bit of a no-brainer for me. Like it's not obligated, of course, because I think, like, as I said, I think most soaps can get the job done at this point, but $20 is a really reasonable price for a soap of this quality, in my opinion. Let's go across grain here. So this is a 15 16 full hollow. You can definitely tell it's a full hollow, it sings. It's quite the singer for sure. So it leaves like this really protective feeling on the face. Got a bit of a uh, soap on the tang here. Don't know if you can see that. Let's get that off. Makes it harder to hold, <laughs> you know. Slippery grip and all that. Let's go left hand now. Quite honestly, the only thing I would change about these is the size of the, the length of the cutting edge. They're quite long. Um, and I'll be honest, I, I don't see many razors of the, the length that I like. So it's not so much a criticism of Philharmonica, I think it's just something generally. Like my ideal cutting edge is about two and a half inches. And a lot of the sprekers I have are two and a half inches. Get the mustache before I forget. I, I forget that so regularly because I do the left hand and I'll go back to like the left, the mustache with my right. Yeah, the soap is it's very good, guys. I mean. I don't think he's ever going to release a bad soap base. Um, I think all of his soap bases have had pros and cons, but this is for me the best all round one he's made.
So I think the only one I found genuinely finicky to lather is uh, is Reserve. I think Reserve can be quite finicky. I can get a decent lather out of it, but it doesn't mean it's not finicky. Um, every lather isn't the same. It's kind of how I like to grade things, really. I want my lathers to be pretty consistent across whatever soaps I'm using. I mean, regular viewers, regular viewers of my videos will tell you that most of my lathers look the same. And I have, like, actively been trying to do that for a pretty long time. Okay, let's go uh, the inverted pass here. It's like a laser beam. Very nice. Left side. Cool, I think I'm pretty happy with that. Okay, let's go up on the side ones here. Switch hands. Clean off the razor, and then uh, I'll, I will be right back, guys, with the... I don't have a post-shave today, but I'll be right back with the final thoughts. Kind of give you a... Uh, give you a bit of lowdown on the soap again and all the gear we use. I'll see you in a sec. Hey, guys. Welcome back. Let's have a fail, shall we? Quite tacky, which is typically a good sign for me, to be honest. It's gonna dry down nicely. In my experience, it does. Like I, I know that for sure. Um, what do we use today? So we use Seville by Barrister and Man, and that was in the omnibus space. So we can see that there. Um, very good. Kind of as you would expect, quite frankly. I, I don't think any of these arsons are going to release bad soap. And, you know, this, this is only a testament to that, in my opinion. Um, I, there isn't much I would change, really. Uh, the firmness is good. It's not too too soft, too firm. It's kind of just slightly below mid. Um, the scent is actually stronger now. So if you like Seville in the past, and it's never been strong enough for you, that's, that's more of a 6 out of 10 or a 5 out of 10 as opposed to a 4 or a 3 like it has been in the past. Um, easy to lather. Really nice density. Great slickness. And I think the post is best in class when it comes to the Barrister and Man soap bases. So it's it's just great. Um, $20, $20 as well for a soap of that quality. I can't really complain. Uh, omnibus, thumb up for me. My razor of choice today was the Philharmonica Trida Full Hollow. This is 15 16 with these really nice blue scales. Um, keeper for me. Uh, I, I just love the way those razors shave. <clears throat> and my brush of choice today was the Voiding Cop Silver Tip with this beautiful green wooden handle. But yeah, I hope you guys have enjoyed the video today. If you're new around and haven't yet subscribed, please consider doing so. I'd very much appreciate it. If you want to support the channel, buy me a coffee. As I said in the, as I said, uh, slightly after the beginning, you know. Um, if you're looking for other ways to support the channel, of course, I need to be fueled with caffeine, and that's the way of doing it. If you don't want to, then you know, fair enough, can't complain. But yeah, my name is Jack, your host from the Virtual Room. I hope you all have a wonderful day, and goodbye for now.